Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Lessons from the Prophet's migration. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, even if you don't help the Prophet, Allah helped him when the disbelievers drove him out, when the two of them were in the cave. He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said to the companion, Don't worry, Allah is with us. And Allah sent his calm down to him, aided him with forces invisible to you, and brought down the disbelievers. And brought down the disbelievers' plan. Allah's plan is higher. Allah is almighty and wise. I bear witness. I bear witness there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The blessed migration of the Prophet ﷺ from Mecca to Medina was an event that changed the course of history and an introduction to a great history of Islam and Muslims. This blessed journey was full of great lessons and insights, which include the manifestation of the Prophet's moral value, especially his honesty. The polytheists used to keep their money with the Prophet ﷺ as a trust and used to call him As-Sadiq Al-Amin, the truthful and the honest. When the Prophet ﷺ wanted to migrate to Medina, he asked Ali ibn Abi Talib to stay at Mecca to return the trust to their owners even though they had harmed him and tortured his companions, expelled them from their homes, and forced them to leave their properties. This is honesty in its highest sense. The journey also revealed the meaning of Allah's support for the Prophet ﷺ when Abu Bakr said to the Prophet ﷺ when they were hiding in the cave, and the polytheists were standing outside the cave. He said, if any of them should look under his feet, he would see us. The Prophet ﷺ replied, O oh Abu Bakr, what do you think of two persons, the third of whom is Allah? Regarding th this incident, Allah said in the Quran, Allah sent his tranquility down to him, aided him with forces invisible to you. Despite the support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet used all possible means available for him to make their journey successful, which included good planning and choosing a companion and a guide. However, with all these procedures, the Prophet was relying only to Allah and his hope which teaches us the meaning of good dependence upon Allah in all aspects of the blessed journey. Among the lessons of the blessed journey, the migration of the Prophet ﷺ is building the state and establishment of its pillars, starting with the construction of the masjid, which represents the center of worship, knowledge, and education. It is the place where the normal personality of a Muslim is built in order to develop the world and make construction. Next to the masjid comes the market, which refers to the importance of the economic aspect in building states, and to be a market based on a virtuous Islamic morals in buying and selling. The Prophet ﷺ establishes stable and balanced society in which no one element negotiate another in order to achieve the integrated message of Islam, as the Almighty said. It is he who has made the earth manageable for you, travel its region, and eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. After the Majid and the market came the constitution of Medina, established the rules and principles of peaceful coexistence among the people of Medina. All praise due to Allah.
the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that the constitution of Medina that our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam concluded after sitting settling in Medina is considered the most important document for coexistence in human history. It is stated the rights and duties based on national and humanitarian pace, as is stated that the Jews are a community like Muslims in Medina. It's proved the freedom of belief and the worship, the place of worship, that is freedom of the place of worship for all people without discrimination. What a great humanitarian and civilizational action that we find in this constitution when it first approved that the Jews, Jews have their religion before approving the same right for Muslims. This indicates the highest degree of tolerance and fairness from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam established the principle of fraternity and unity among Muslims when he held a brotherhood relationship among the immig immigrants and the people of Medina al-Ansar. Its compliance with the saying of the Almighty Allah, hold fast to Allah's robe altogether, do not split into factions. And Allah saying, obey Allah and his messenger, and don't quarrel with one another, or you may lose heart and your spirit may desert you. The Prophet said, Do not nurse hatred against one another, nor jealousy, nor enmity, and do not show your back to one another, and become as fellow brothers and slaves to, of Allah. A Muslim is a brother to a Muslim. A Muslim is a brother to a Muslim. A Muslim to a brother is a brother to a Muslim. He should neither deceive him nor lie to him nor leave him without assistance. We need to be inspired by the meaning of his blessed migration by turning to what pleases the Almighty Allah in terms of our deeds and sayings, and by shifting from idleness and laziness to diligence, to diligence and perfection, and from selfishness to sincere human fraternity. As our Prophet Sallallahu said, a Muslim is the one from whose tongue and hands the Muslims are safe. And a mujahid, a, mujah, a muhajir, and a muhajir is the one who refrains from what Allah has forbidden. One more time, a Muslim is the one from whose tongue and hands the Muslims are safe. A mujahid immigrant is the one who refrain from what Allah's, Allah has forbidden. We ask Allah to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.